Hello everyone, welcome back to the dark side of the channel, and today we're going to continue our Laxius Power Let's Play. Now, in this episode of the Let's Play, we are actually doing one of my favorite scenes from the game, and that is not because of any specific reason, it's just because I consider this the best, um, and so to speak, most engaging scene of the game, because it actually jumpstarts what will be the larger canon of the series in a very intricate way so we start off relatively normally we're in the inn we're sleeping and we see sarah who is also sleeping in her night now she hears a noise and obviously that starts her awake and seeing as she wants to, is awake now she is scared about what's happening now you'll see we don't have access to the menu i am pressing the menu button and you can see random is asleep so he's not worried now we're in the dark and there's well you know we don't really know what's going on. Now she doesn't want to go so far. And this should be the clue for you to return. Now. Oh. See. This scene always scares me so much. And I don't know if you heard the audio. But there's a, this lion roar. The thing is you have to check the clothes rack. And we're going to fight a demon wolf. And you are powerless, you are powerless against this wolf. You can't win this. But you know she's in danger. Now one of the things. Do not forget to actually equip your gear here. That is such a gut punch if you don't know it's going to happen. But you have to actually equip your gear uh, in this menu right now. Because if you don't, well, you know. Uh, I'm sure you can guess how it goes if you don't have your gear equipped. So make sure you equip your... Now, I don't, I'm not sure if you can actually... Yeah, you can tell Gonidia to come with you. And I would definitely recommend you do that. Because if he doesn't come with you, well, you know. He's not going to be there. Now you can give him a percussion ring, that's fine. Uh, you can't actually go to the east because that would, I, know, I mean, they need a whole set of uh, events for that. But, Zara is hurt, there's a lion here, so we're gonna fight this demon wolf, as he's called. Now, I guess these demon wolves, they are actually very strong. Um, so you want to use Quadra Strike and kill them right away. Don't give them any chance to actually retaliate and eat a whale after every fight now. You're gonna need it. So it's dead, obviously, and then we're gonna talk to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, random, thank you, she faints. So she's fainted, okay. She can't fight anymore, that's fine. We'll rescue her, we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. Now you'll see there are St. Leona war orcs here. Now, Ganadia's glue skill actually lowers the stats of every single enemy. Um, and can numb them, I think. I'm not sure if it can right now, but it definitely should be able to. Now, as I've said before, we don't use Ganidia, which means Ganidia is going to be very weak in this section of the game, because we generally don't use him. Um, now, it's really fine that he's, <laughs> that he's not really on level and on par with the rest. You don't really need Ganidia for this at all, because pretty much immediately you can talk to... Okay, so once a demon wolf appears, you know the fight's going to be tough, because you need Quadra Strike. If you don't have Quadra Strike available because you're out of MP or stuff, don't hesitate to use that those stats. Use those um, items to recover because you need it. Now you can't talk to this guard. Um, and he's going to join us, our party, to actually fight. Now keep that in mind, this is why you want to talk to every single one of these guards. Because you might not realize that they'll want to fight with you, but they do. And the good thing about these guards, now he's actually very low on MP, don't ask me why. The good thing about these guards is they do have quite a lot of health, so they are able to tank a couple hits. Opposed to random, who can only take like one hit from a wolf, well two hits, but they attack twice. And if you did, as I said earlier, and you actually got those whales, he will be able to take a lot of hits. Now you want to fight this wolf, and you want to just use Quadra Strike here, and then a normal attack on the other one. You don't want to stall these fights at all, like... Don't give these wolves the advantage, because if one of the two characters dies, you're in trouble. Now, they don't have that much health, and that is the thing. Their health isn't really the big issue. The big issue is the fact that they are so resilient to damage. Now, talk to Coriol. He's KO, but he will come with us. Now, this is actually a scene. You can only do it right now, at this point. If you don't do it now, um, you will miss whatever is up here in this area. So I do definitely suggest that you just do this scene right now. Now random goes knockout and I think this is where we die. Because we don't... Oh wait, we do have Phoenix Feathers. If Le Leslie lives this, we're okay. Okay, we're okay, I think. Yeah, because we can just spam 
uh, Phoenix Feathers until this thing attacks random instead. Uh, okay, so we're good. We're good. Now this is one of the reasons why you probably want to keep Ganidia alive. Just so you have two characters that can actually use Phoenix Feathers rather than just one. But in general it's fine. I actually really forgot that we had stocked up on those Phoenix Feathers in such quantity. Now we're gonna fight this Demon Wolf and this one will be pretty easy to beat. Just use normal attacks. You can use Ganidia's Kamikaze. Which technically is another method of dealing a lot of damage. But really it's not that relevant. Now you will notice Ganidia will feign like every single fight. Don't bother healing him too much. Just give him the red parsleys. Now you can actually go up here. Um, and this entire section is basically um, voluntarily done as I, as I call it. But basically means um, this is not by no means mandatory. If you skip this area... For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do this area. However, there is some good loot in this place at this point in the game. Especially if you look at stuff like the book that we just found. Which I am having trouble finding right now. Where is the book? We did just find the book, didn't we? Didn't we? No. Written in an unknown language. So the book is apparently not relevant. I thought it was. 27 Tonic Tees. So 27 Tonic Tees is definitely a very good loot. Um, seeing as each of these can actually heal you for quite a good portion of your health. Now it's kind of a pity that you can't just put Ganelia in the back. Otherwise I would. Uh, so he could just um, get experience from this. Uh, but he can't. Which is kind of annoying, like, I want my Ganidia to be gaining levels steadily, so if I ever need him, I can actually use him. Right now, they're forcing me to either revive him every single fight, or to just not use him. Now, admittedly, I could have actually bought some equipment for him earlier. Now, because I kind of knew that this would happen, this entire scene. But you guys didn't, and I kind of, you know, if you suddenly go ahead and you buy gear for one specific character, um... Everyone will know what's going to happen, basically. I kind of wanted to avoid that. Admittedly, I haven't been exactly spoiler uh, resistant in this playthrough. Let's call it that. Uh, but this seemed like one of the spoilers that I didn't want to make. Now, you can't actually egress out of here. And the only really relevant thing was the Sequoia bow. The Sequoia bow that we actually collected earlier on. But that Sequoia bow, trust me when I say that you want to make sure that you collected it. It's a really good bow in general. Uh, and you kind of really want to have it. Now, Ganidia did finally level up because he finally survived enough fights to do so. Uh, but as long as you don't have a weapon for him, which we will not be able to find here, uh, he is kind of pointless to have around. Uh, he's basically just a meat tank so that these creatures hit something that isn't random at some point. Other than that, uh, Ganidia really does not have much purpose in this part of the game. Now, what you can do, and this is a completely valid strategy... Uh, at this point is to just do what I'm doing and just spam that those healing items not to not explore this northern part because the Sequoia bow isn't that relevant like it's a good bow but missing it definitely will not change much of the game it is definitely not like the brand is the mool or ice cave sword where you miss a huge portion of the game get a lot weaker it's just a bow now you can talk to this one but he will actually not join your fight and then you can go in here We'll find the pendants. He's old pendants. I don't know what it is about, but we can find it, apparently. It doesn't contain it. It doesn't do anything for us right now, though, so we're just going to ignore it for now. Now, you want to actually quadra strike, and then you want to use... Well, you can use attack up on random if you want to. It has its advantages, namely random will now be faster. Should be faster in this turn, but it doesn't matter because um, he doesn't survive the turn. <laughs> um... Now like this, you can. this is when you can actually use Ganidia as something viable. Because Ganidia will be reviving random as Leslie tries to actually commit to a kill. And in that sense, it's definitely useful to keep Ganidia around. They're just going to spam heal random's magic points. To get his magic points a bit higher. And hopefully we will be able to actually survive this now. Now, I will be honest, in all the times I've played this game, I have never completed this, this part of the game without dying at least once. Now, I will readily admit, I am actually better geared for, the, for this entire game in this one playthrough than I have ever been so far. 
So we do stand a very good chance of actually surviving in this one playthrough without having to go back to a save file. Will we do it? I don't know. But it would definitely be the first time that I manage to do this. So let's make sure that we don't get cocky here. You don't want to get cocky at all, especially not against these 2-2 fights. Because these 2-2 fights are definitely the, uh, a very difficult section. Because these wolves can kill random, and they will kill random. And on a critical hit, if any of these hits was a critical hit, this game, this playthrough would be back at a save point right now. Uh, Luciana's room is empty. But you, we can see that there's an empty window here. Now we're actually seeing Luciana right now, so we get an idea of where she is. Uh, but as soon as we actually get control again, we're going to be random again. Now keep in mind, as I said before, your mana is like the single most important part of this game right now. Uh, you can actually check out all this stuff, but or you can just look at this and just know which stuff has something and which doesn't. I'm actually not quite sure if there's even a single one with an item in here. Or whether it's just a lot of buckets to get you to take more fights. What I do know is that, in general, you don't want to stick around here too long. But that might have been obvious, judging from the fact that it's full of wolves. Because in general, these wolves are pretty bad news. Uh, we're, we're also going to check out this place. Nothing. So this is a very loot barren place. Um, north or east? Which will we check out first? So I'm going to say we'll check out east first. Um, that seems like a more interesting place to actually start. Empty, okay. No, nothing in the pot. Uh, but yeah, these demon wolves are definitely a big issue. Like, they can easily kill you if you're not careful about it. Now that leads to where Luciana is. So we're actually going to be careful about going there. We're going to wait. And we're going to keep killing these wolves. Oh, uh, wait, no. This leads to where Luciana is. Huh. We're actually getting so lucky because we've actually surprised them three times in a row. That happens like never. And then we dodge twice. Wow. Okay. So, where does this lead then? If that's where Luciana is. Does this not... This looks like where we were, right? With Luciana? This looks a lot like where we're supposed to be. But we don't want to be where we're supposed to be yet. Because there is something else if we go back to the other room. The room that is guarded by the wolf. Now this is uh, a pretty common red herring. You try to lead people to where the wolf is. Because you think, oh, the wolves are obviously the evil things. We need to go to the wolves. And then it turns out that, well, you don't have to be there. But you have to be where the wolves aren't. So I'm not sure if this is an active technique that they decided to use. Or if this is just this um, monster placement. But it definitely is... A fun thing to notice. So we're actually going to use a, knife, a phoenix feather. On random. Even though random was not killed yet. Because if random was killed. We would have revived him. And if he wasn't. Well you know. Who cares right. Now one of the things is. I think at this point. All party members are actually banked. And are not. Um, aren't. Gone so to speak. But are just banked. So like in the. Um, menu where you can select. With the IV pendants. I think the other characters are there right now. So I think they're still gaining this experience. Though I'm not 100% sure. Now we're going to face off against two more wolves. And kill these wolves real quick. We're going to defend with Gunidia and we're going to attack. You know, basic strategy. Nothing too difficult here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a Phoenix Feather and already attack. If Random got attacked, we would be able to revive him immediately without a casualty. And since he didn't, we're safe. So, you know, it's more of the fail-proof strategy here than anything else. Um, so this place is apparently absolutely nothing. I actually thought that, that was a ladder, but it's not. It's a ladder laying on the ground or something. I don't know. Uh, but it definitely does not lead anywhere, which is kind of lame. Like, I, did not, I didn't expect it to be the best place because I would have known about it otherwise, but I did honestly think that there would be something in it rather than just absolutely nothing. Now, remember the first time I played this, I actually thought that you had to go through the entire dungeon without anyone to help you. So, like, just random. And that is absolutely impossible, let me tell you. 
once you phase off against two wolves, three wolves at once, you'll realize just how impossible that is. But, you know, um, when you, especially when you're under level, like, if you don't know Quadra Strike yet by the point that this happens, um, you are completely at a loss, because Quadra Strike really is the best way to handle this. And I would even dare to say the only way to actively handle this scene. Especially because these wolves are not something that you'll only encounter once. Uh, there's a lot of wolves. I mean, you saw the scene, right, between the two parts. You saw that scene happen, and you saw just how many enemies there were. That was not an exaggeration. It was not like they were just being like, oh, let's just throw in a lot of enemies and do nothing with them. Those enemies definitely exist, and we're definitely going to notice them. So Haraz is right here, but he's also unconscious, so there's no point in... It doesn't really matter if you collect him first or not, because he's apparently unconscious. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe if he isn't unconscious... Oops. I did not mean to open this. I was thinking, like, if he is not unconscious, we might be able to, like, bring him with us, but he is. So we're gonna have to fight these duo wolves here. Um, this should be a pretty easy fight, as long as we defend twice with them, and just pray that we don't die. So we hit him, and then we go ahead and do the same thing here. Hit him again, and that should be GG for this part of the game. So, Luciana actually faints too, meaning we cannot count on Luciana to help us out either. None of the other party members are actually going to be able to help. Now, I think that this is pretty lame. I get why the others faint, but Luciana, she looked pretty okay, did she? Like, we didn't get a scene of her being attacked. Was she attacked? Is she just scared? I don't know. Now we're going to return and we're going to actually get in here. Now this one is also pretty useless. We can't talk to him. And he says we've got the place under control. I don't know. Is that true? Because here we found a murdered guard and a murdered uh, wolf. But the room is broken. But there is one MP revival and two MP reserves. Okay. So as I thought, we can still get random encounters. I was kind of wondering because we hadn't gotten one in a couple seconds. Like, we had not gotten a single encounter in a little segment there. So it's kind of wondering, like, is it really over? But, um, nope. <laughs> it's not. Um, there's definitely still wolves left. Okay, so this one is going to go down too. We're going to get XP. Ganidi is going to level up again, which is nice for Ganidi, I guess. Again, doesn't really matter to us. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that there's anything... So these San Cleon and Orcs, they're kind of dumb, they're not strong, they're not really an issue either. But if you let them live too long, you might actually regret it. So just, you know, aggro them and then heal up. Don't do anything else. You want to get rid of these things as fast as possible. Uh, especially because they deal good chip damage. They deal like 30 damage to random and then a couple damage to the other guy. So if you let them linger on, if you let those, those fights linger on for too long, you will actually start getting stuck. With enemies that can kill you, and you don't want that. Now this barrel does not contain anything, which means we wasted our time here. In the in this kind of fight, you just want to focus on the demon wolf. Use glue to kill the other ones. I don't care. Um, actually, going to get hit by a spell, which is also kind of annoying. Especially if it's the knee reads or stuff like that. Um, Just to be sure, I realized that this was the one use of our scroll, but um, we really did not want to die there, and we had to silence that second guy. Now, he didn't actually get silenced, which means it truly was a waste of the scroll. But on the other hand, like, I was never going to use it anyways. It was a risk. I took the risk. It failed. Sucks. Many survivors, but many dead people as well. Well, seems like you didn't do your job all that well, did you? Like, I hate to break it to you, but there, there is a lot of dead people. Then you just did not do your job the way you were supposed to do your job. You were supposed to save these people. Now, obviously, it's not Random's job to save people. Like, he is a hero, but he's not that kind of hero. It's not our job to save people. Uh, now, MP Revivals actually do a, lot, think, do a lot better than MP Reserves. Because they actually um, heal up. The reserve, as in, they do actually heal the character's MP rather than just increase it by 8 or something. 
Because you'll see, like, MP reserves, that's like 8 MP. Oh, wow, thanks. What can I do with 8 MP? Um, nothing. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can use one heavy strike. And that's it. Okay, so here's Leonda. I was kind of... Leona? Leonda? Leonda. I was kind of wondering, like, why I hadn't found her yet, but... Okay. We found her. And she's healthy, which is good. Um... Oh, she's, she actually joins the party at this point, so... Now, at this point, you can just give her some of the weaponry. Uh, you can give her the Brutal Axe. Just don't give her anything too special. Don't, Especially, don't give her insanely good gear, because we're not going to be playing with her just yet. But you might want to get a feel for what it's like playing with her. Because I can spoil, she is going to become a little bit more relevant at some point. Now, if you want to equip her with a, sh sh uh, with a bow, you'll have to use a spear. That's just kind of how it works. I'm using Gooder's spear because it's the relic, and, you know, relics tend to be good. It's not because something is a relic that it's good, per se, but it definitely does help to gauge whether or not a weapon will be useful or not. Relics do tend to be a bit more useful than the regular stuff. Uh, and this is also permitted, that when it's just a single wolf to just attack rather than have to use a skill... Now, if it's two wolves, I would still heavily suggest just using the skill on the first and then attacking the second one manually. Uh, especially Lyanna, she does have Sacred Sun. Sacred Sun actually hits both, enemy, both enemies for pretty decent damage here. Um, so you could consider not using your skill with random and just attacking physically. Uh, I'm not sure if I would recommend that, but I mean, it's a strategy if you don't want it. If you didn't buy the sharks, for example, then you definitely will need a different strategy to actually... Um, fight these things so we also notice a lot of the guardians are actually dead which is obviously quite relevant like these people died trying to protect the place um, they deserve their respect for that uh, we want to heavy strike the orc and then we want to use the geo spell sacred sun to actually hit the rest um, so as I said the grand clads are actually the most dangerous spell here because it deals so much damage without anything else to it as in that spell hitting is just annoying it's nothing else but it is definitely annoying because it deals a lot of damage to a lot of to all your characters at once and you don't really want to be dealing with that which is why sacred sun is such a good spell now we are going to actually challenge this last set too because you want to actually kill all of them you definitely don't want to leave it at just kill half of them not that you have to, like, it's completely up to you whether or not you want to fight these, these wolves or whether you want to try and run, whether you want to actually try and escape. I can tell you, you can effectively escape from a lot of these fights. Uh, but that is also how you die in a lot of them, because you try to escape and then both of them survive, because obviously you did not hit them, because you were trying to escape. And then, well, you know, that's how it goes. So we're kind of just praying right now that we kill this one in one go. We don't. Okay, so Leanna might die here. That's fine. As I said, Siganidia is really taking these hits and just dying so sadly. <laughs> it's pretty depressing for Ganidia, but I mean, on the other hand, he is saving the rest of the team. So I guess that's good. Now you'll notice that there is actually one more uh, threat before we can actually leave this place. Which is... Um going to be the last enemy, I think. Namely the wolf in the front of the door. Now, don't underestimate this. I'm not sure if this is going to be the fight where there's three of them. I know there is at least one fight in the game with three of these wolves. And it's a d it's very difficult. No, nope, this one is still just two of them. If I can give a hint, you might... Actually, this is a really good place to grind. Don't get me wrong. If you have the healing items for it, this is a very good place to grind. Uh, because these things give a lot of experience, no matter how you look at it. Like, they give 168 experience. Look at random. Yeah, he needs a lot of XP. So, don't consider this to be much of a grind in the end. Alright, so he's going... And we're actually in the hospital right now. So, in the hospital, we're actually going to be uh, ending our episode. That was the entire episode. It took a while. That just shows how difficult the section was. But we did manage to actually kill everything, so that's good. We managed to get out of there in one go, and you can use the book here to actually save the game. 
So, thank you all for watching. This was DartQ on the Dart side of the channel. I hope you guys tune in for the next episode in which we will be fighting even more wolves. See you all next time.